Hey guys, real quick before I get into this video, one, I got a new headset, so hopefully my mic is a little bit better. Two, my apparel is out. In case you guys are wondering, currently wearing one of my shirts, so go check that out. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to go look at that, and there's a discount code for 20% off as well, so let's start the video. What's going on, guys? Gonna go ahead and do the third installment of my remastered anchoring series. Today's map is obviously evac. So, off the start, um... Now, the good and bad side for this map, you can debate both. Um, I don't really think there is a good or a bad side. I do prefer this side, however, but that I don't think I don't really think there's a good or a bad side. You can argue that uh, that side of the map is better just because the rotation is a little bit easier to second hill, but the spawns flip so much on this hill that you know, you're know you rarely going to maintain that one spawn through the whole hill. But anyway, uh, off the start, how I play this is I'll have double trophies because I always run trophies for my team, and uh, I'll slide and I'll just watch over them because they're going to challenge that wall run they're going to come from Balk or they'll play the contest underneath the stretcher right here which is a really good spot if you guys weren't aware of this um, you can lay down under here and they can just like fly at you and it's pretty easy kills but you have to be careful of that spot though because you can be wall banged so off the start um, I'll come over and help my team and just pre over them because chances are people might wall run might challenge the barrels you know there's just it's easy to contest this hill which a first hill on every map is always should be a contest however if you're actually really good at this hill you can get a really good amount of time so it's easy to hold, or not necessarily easy to hold, but it's easy to push out of. And then um, most of the time, I do actually enjoy playing this hill, like inside of it. Because, you know, if my team's playing it, um, if they're pushing everything out, you know, I only have to watch one way, which is how you mess up this hill a lot as a team, is if the player in the hill needs to watch more than one thing. So an example of that would be, say, I'm sitting on stretcher, and the only thing I need to worry about is green steps. That means, A, there's somebody holding my double doors, watching middle and dip, or holding the big door flank. So, you know, I might be watching green steps like I am, um, you know, Danny might be there, Nick could be on hill holding dip, or Z, and then Jerry can be holding big door flank, you know, something like that. So if you only need to one, watch one or two things, maybe sit here and watch like Z and big door, then you're going to set yourself up for a better position in the hill. There are a couple different ways to break off right there, uh, just mainly double trophies and then premium. Obviously, there's always going to be somebody big door, it's an AR fight, that's just where it's going to be. So for the rotation, if you're not on the other side, the other side, uh, I'll go over after I go through the rotation like I normally do. Um, the rotation for this hill, if you don't win it, you wanna, you're going to spawn up uh, back behind you by AC. You're just going to go around green here. Or you can spawn out field with about 20 seconds left to get that back L spawn behind laundry. And uh, you can maybe wall run for those spawns all the way around, but that's a little bit of an easy read because you, uh, you can be called out relatively easily. But uh, you're going to fight through green here. Now, green spawns are a lot more advantageous for this hill because you spawn really close, and the back spawns are always preferred because you always spawn closer. So you're going to push through the back here, and the chances are there's going to be an AR player here. Um, the popular AR spots for this hill are going to be one head glitch in the steps, two possibly on the balcony, and three playing some corner, some kind of just like random corner back heli pad, which is what I like to do, because it's a little less predictable. So you're going to fight through the back here. Um, if you win this one gunfight, you're going to want to make sure you go all the way around, because there could always be a player sneaking back here. Um, some pretty good spots to play on this can be... Uh, you know, sometimes people actually don't check this. You can lay down all the way in the back, and then if you have a decent shot, um, you know, you can see people coming through red, uh, front cages, things like that. You can actually lay down next to the box. You catch a lot of people off guard doing this. And then, um, you know, you can just play maybe a to steps. If you have, like, a sub pushing out your cages, all you gotta watch is big door. And then, uh, you can also play the hill here. Now, I do enjoy playing the hill, but it depends on what side of uh, the map you're spawning on. Uh, the hill line of sight actually isn't that bad. You can hold bottom, and you can hold top. Make sure you have double trophies, though. At least you don't... Make sure there are double trophies at some form on your team because uh, this hill, you get a lot of nades, a lot of EMPs because it's so close quarters. So just make sure you have something to prevent that. Now, the rotation for this hill, if you spawn out, you're going to go, go through middle, which you're still spawn, uh, you'll spawn either green pushed up or you'll spawn back here and then you can fight through middle. Or, you know, say you're getting the scrap time, you wall in your last year, just grab the scrap time, go up top. And then uh, your team, you're like, you know, wall running and they're going through middle. Just try to maybe pick the players off the hill from uh, top class or like top AC or something like that. But if you if you spawn out off the rotation, which you spawn back green over there, uh, just fight through green. There might be a player, you know, pushed up on pillar or top AC trying to cut you off. Chances are it'll be their AR player, so you got to be a little bit careful of that. But once you get back here, this is like the, just the power position for the next two hills. So... Once you get back here, you just want to play your life as much as you can and know where they are spawning. So if you get a four down and you know they're spawning out, this is a really good position because one, you can hold your teammates wall run, so all he has to do is stay alive, doesn't have to challenge anything, he can just worry about top AC. You can also call out the field push if you would like jump up on the, the little ledge right here. You can stay down, but you have to be a little bit careful because they can't see you from up there, obviously. Um, you can play the hill. Uh, another good spot for this is head glitch in the bench right here. Oh. Head glitch on the bench right here, you can hold field and top, which is a little less predictable spot. Uh, you can head glitch here, but you're going to get wall ran on most likely. Um, you can hold the middle map and AC side, just by like sitting maybe top uplink peg like this. Hard you can hold dip, identified. and uh, as the rotation starts to come around, like 20-25 seconds, uh, start rotating over to AC. 
or Glass Hill. Now, Glass Hill is a little a little easier in my opinion. It's not really uh, as much strategy to it. Well, it is, but it's not as, it's not as much as all the other hills in my opinion. Um, you just want to literally just sit up here. Like you can sit top glass. The only thing you need to know about this hill is where the other team is spawning. Um, just maintain your line of sights. If you have teams pushing out middle, you need to be wary of your pinch here. Now your pinch is always going to be priority on this hill because the the way this map works is you can get anywhere on the map within like five seconds. It's like an AW type thing, because like, they can spawn field, and they can decide to go red, they can decide to go AC, and they can maybe come through middle. So you just have to be worried about your pinch at all times. Like, if you spawn back AC, and your whole team's pushing up, and you're last, like, you're last respawning, you need to pick up your pinch. They will be there. Same with the other side. If you spawn cages, and your whole team pushes up, and you're the last one there, or if you, you don't see your teammate picking it up, you need to be doing that. So, uh, just sit top ace, or top glass. This is a huge power position. This is the only thing you need to worry about. Uh, players will be trying to AR, will be trying to fight you, wall run on you. But if you stay up here and your team pushes out everything that they need to to prevent you from dying, you'll be set for this hill. Now, the rotation back in the middle here. Um, it's not really a rotation, but you, there's a couple different ways to play it. Uh, you can either, you know, just literally just come up here, get back on the balk. Um, say you're getting this last time. Now, a good play, not a good play, but a play uh, I like to do is when we're getting this last couple seconds. I'll push through this hill. Like, say you spawn um, laundry, right? There's about 10 seconds left in this hill. There's only one person in it. Fight this time, and then if you kill him, he'll spawn out with his team. So you can get that 10 seconds, and you can get the power position on Balk. Same for the other side. Spawn out tree, fight this guy, and then uh, come up out, and you immediately pray him your double doors because that's where they're going to spawn. Then he's either going to go dip, or he might fight you doubles, could go Z, or he could reflank you. There's a couple different ways to play that. So going around again through the other side as I normally do. Um, your break off, always go big door every time. Uh, either you know double trophies, whatever you want. Hard Premium your bout. Chances are, if someone's not there, you can actually play this corner and just play the line of sight. Um, their AR player might be doing what I said at the beginning, is just glitching that. Which in that case, leave him there. Don't you don't need to challenge him whatsoever unless your team wins like two gunfights and you have numbers and you can just trade that kill. And then you can push him up and then spawn trap double doors and then I'll just stay on hill most of the time. Play uh you know like the bow line of sight or top green or something like that. So off the rotation for this, you don't want to back up and worry about your green. Now they're gonna be hitting through green unless you get these kills at like once they start pushing through green and you get like two kills, then they're gonna spawn on field and that's when you rotate into the hill. Um there can be one like late hitting that, but if you hold plat and you like if your your team's communicating well enough, like you know they're not gonna be there, you can rotate into the hill. And then uh, the rest of it is just pretty much the exact same thing. Just rotate through the hill and then if you spawn out, go around green, go through middle, and then um off the rotation for uh, from laundry to glass, it's the exact same thing, guys. Say it's laundry hill and you spawn out um, back kitchen, you actually fight through this hill, which isn't really a bad play, and just pinch this. Like I said, you always have to be worried about that pinch, so you can be the person pinching. Um, go around and see. And now, a common mistake about glass hill, if you're spawning out, is you spawn field, which is pretty far away. Never go dip. Dip is a not a good play. You can you need to get a set spawn for your team because if you can repetitively die middle, you're just gonna keep spawning out field. So you want to commit to one spawn, whether it's AC or it's cages, whichever one. You need to get a close up spawn for your submachine gun players. So I'm gonna push around AC or I'm gonna push around tree to get that pushed up spawn so my subs can continuously flood the hill. Remember that, because if you just flood through middle than AR and die, you're being useless the whole time. So that's evac guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up tomorrow with Stronghold. Um thank you all for watching. Like I said, if you guys want some of my apparel, it just came out as well. Uh, I'll put a discount code in the description. And uh, I couldn't stream today because I completely forgot the matches were going on. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. And have a great day.